stiff neck, then you want to do the facelift to de instantly decrease the stiff neck. So a lot of us, because of COVID, we're working virtually, working from home, and our neck is like this, right? And so a lot of times, besides bad posture, some of it could be coming from this front of your neck. And so what's happening is this neck, the muscles here, the, they get all tight. And when they tight, guess what? It, let me show you. When it gets tight, it pulls your neck forward. So the solution is you want to facelift this area. So facelift, you want to move it, you know, increase blood circulation, even to your feet, your face, sorry, not your feet, your face, because we have a fascia that's all connected. And if that gets tight, See, it brings your neck forward. If it gets tight, it brings your neck forward. So you want to relax it and then you want to pinch it, okay? So first, you want to run your fist like this all around, even your face up here. And then you want to pinch it. Pinch it to elongate it, elongate it, elongate it. See, so you elongate it, then your neck gets less stiff, right? And then you want to pinch up here for your face. To do this every single day, I would say at least twice a day, once in, in the afternoon, I mean, once after lunch and once in, in the evening after you get off of work, right? And then when you do that, then move your neck around. I guarantee you, your neck's going to feel so much better. And you, you didn't even touch your neck, right? So do the facelift. Comment below. Let me know how this works for you. Make sure you like this post and follow me here for more of these awesome health tips. Are you feeling down and out and depressed? then you have to lift your brain in order to lift that depression. So the pan pandemic's lightening up and maybe you, you know, you're know you suffering the aftermath of the pandemic and you're just feeling depressed, lethargic, just unmotivated. Uh, there's one thing you can do. You wanna lift your brain. So how do you lift your brain, right? Simple technique, smile. Smiling is the best technique that can lift your brain because when you smile, that triggers your brain to secrete certain chemicals that's going to make you lift your depression. It's going to make you happier. It's going to make you more motivated. So smile every day. Force to smile even if you don't want to. It is impossible for you to be depressed if you're smiling all the time. So force that smile. Smile, 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 smile throughout the day, every day, and watch your depression get lifted. Follow me here on TikTok. Is your back killing you from back here, from the butt to the neck? Then you want to do the hitchhiker thumb, hitchhiker thumb to instantly reduce all this pain, your whole spine pain. Why you want to do the hitchhiker thumb? This thumb, actually this whole part right here corresponds to your whole spine. Neck is right here and all the way mid back is right here and then lower back is in that big meaty part. So if you're, hit, if you're hurting on the spine, like you feel like, man, it's in the bones, then you want to press on the bones, okay? Press hard on the bones and then jiggle around. Now if you're hurting in the muscle, you want to, look at this big muscle, look at that big piece of meat. You want to push on that muscle and then that will relax your muscle in your lower back and you kind of jiggle it, jiggle it. And if it's the neck, you just do it up here. Same thing, bone on bone. If your neck spine hurts, then if it's here, then you want to jiggle, you want to massage on the muscle, right? Give this a try. Make sure you follow me here on TikTok. Chronic knee pain, you want to increase the oxygen to your knee for faster recovery. So what does that mean? When you have chronic knee pain, I'm not talking about acute. I'm talking about chronic. You've had it for years, right? You have chronic inflammation, which basically means retention of waste. Retention of waste is like if you don't poop for one month, how are you gonna feel? Well, that's what your knee feels. That's why your knee aches, that's why it hurts, because your knee ain't pooping, right? So how do you help it poop? Well, you decrease inflammation and you increase oxygen through your blood circulation. So you wanna use something like this, a scraping tool. This is a scraper, we call it gua sha, and you wanna scrape and you wanna move, oxygenate, move the blood to your knee. Move it up, down, all around, okay? By increasing blood circulation to your knee, you oxygenate, you bring new oxygen, new nutrition to the knee to heal, and you also help it poop and eliminate the waste. Make sure you follow me here on TikTok.